Federal authorities announced today an arrest in the bomb threats against Lafayette College last May. Their investigation took them all the way to the state of Alaska. Our Natasha Brown joins us now from our satellite center. Natasha? Well, the Lafayette College campus was disrupted in the midst of final exams last May by someone claiming to have planted several explosive devices around campus. It was all just a hoax ultimately, but the charges the suspect is now facing in this case, very real. An Alaskan gamer, according to the FBI, is behind the false bomb threats at Lafayette College. Swatting, also known as hoax threats, whether by phone, social media, or email, is not a joke. The FBI and U.S. Attorney's Office announced the arrest at a news conference today. It was May 5th, just days before graduation celebrations were to get underway, when the campus received several bomb threats via a Twitter account. A Twitter user operating under the handle Badan Jafar Salim posted several threatening tweets claiming to have placed explosive devices across the campus in order to, quote, inflict the utmost damage possible. FBI agents quickly swarmed the school and found the threats to be just a hoax. But school officials erred on the side of caution and moved the college graduation ceremony to a different location. After a lengthy investigation that included scouring the user's email and social media accounts, federal officials found the suspect on December 12th, thousands of miles away. The U.S. Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of Pennsylvania has charged Gavin Kastorf age 30 of Anchorage, Alaska. According to agents, Kastorf used a fake Twitter account that he allegedly admitted to creating by using a Russian website. Federal officials said an argument between gamers sparked the series of fake bomb threats to the college. The threats against Lafayette were made after an argument erupted between video gamers who are playing an online game called Counter-Strike. The U.S. Attorney's Office had this message for anyone thinking about doing something similar. You are not smarter than us. Whether these sort of threats are made on social media, scrawled on a bathroom wall, or shared in a conversation between students, we will find out about it. Well, Kasdorf is being detained now in Alaska. He will eventually be brought here to this area to face federal charges. In this case, he faces a maximum of 10 years in prison. That's the very latest here live in the Sat Center. Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Natasha.